Hi, I'm Kate. In this video, we'll investigate why the sitemap you created with Rank Math might be presenting errors. Since there's a high chance that the problem is related to caching, we'll cover those errors first. Use the timestamps in the description to jump to the error your site is presenting. The first error is when Google Search Console, formerly known as Google Webmaster Tools, says it can't find the sitemap. Start by going to the website in this video's description to check if your sitemap is valid. If it's not, we recommend going through the Rank Math Sitemap Configuration tutorial in our knowledge base to make sure that you have configured the sitemaps correctly. If the sitemap is blank, you need to make sure that the post types and taxonomies exist and that they're indexable by going to the Titles and Meta section of Rank Math and scrolling down to the Robots Meta tags. Any content that's been set to no index is not included in the sitemaps. If it looks like your sitemap is outdated, you need to flush the sitemap cache in three steps. First, flushing the current sitemaps from cache. Go to Rank Math Sitemap Settings, change the amount in links per sitemap, and save the changes. Second, flushing the permalinks. Go to WordPress's permalink settings and hit the Save Changes button without making any changes on the page. Third, excluding sitemaps from the caching plugin so this stops happening. We left a link in the description to our knowledge base article that has solution for the main caching plugins. The next error is when the sitemap shows a blank or white page. In both cases, the sitemap index is just a white page. The first solution you can try is checking if there's a physical sitemap file on the website. Rank Math generates the sitemaps on the fly, so you'll need to delete the file via FTP or cPanel. If that's not the case, you need to start by understanding whether the page is white or blank. Try to access your URL slash question mark sitemap equals one. If the page is white, you'll find the source code with the data you'd expect. When the page is blank, the source code is also blank. A white page probably means that the sitemap is in cache, so we recommend following three steps. First, flushing the current sitemaps from cache. Go to Rank Math Sitemap Settings, change the amount in links per sitemap, and save the changes. Second, flushing the permalinks. Go to WordPress's permalink settings and hit the Save Changes button without making any changes on the page. Third, we need to exclude them from the caching plugin so this stops happening. We left a link in the description to our knowledge base article that has solutions for the main caching plugins. On the other hand, if the page is blank, there are two probable causes. One is that you have a static file with the same name as your sitemap file. You should access the server via FTP and remove the file. The other is a conflict between Rank Math and another plugin, the website's theme, or even the WordPress installation. You can use the Health Check and Troubleshoot plugin by the WordPress community to find out what's conflicting with Rank Math. It will add the troubleshooting mode to the Site Health screen from the Tools section of WordPress's menu. So let's access the Add New Page of the Plugin section, enter Health Check in the search bar in the top right corner, and click on Install and Activate Health Check and Troubleshooting. Now, the Site Health tool will have two new tabs, Troubleshooting and Tools. Open the Troubleshooting tab and click on Enable Troubleshooting Mode. The alterations you make to the website will not appear to your visitors. This will deactivate all the plugins. WordPress will suggest that you install and activate the default theme that comes with the WordPress installation. You'll be able to choose between the 2020, 2021, and 2022 themes. Then, you have to try to reproduce the issue in these settings. If it's there, your WordPress installation is the root of the problem, and you should contact your web host about it. If you don't see the issue when no plugins are active and the theme is a default, it's time to activate Rank Math and see if the issue is there while only using Rank Math with a default theme and no other plugins. If you still don't see the issue, activate each plugin individually until you find the one that's conflicting with Rank Math. It's also highly likely that your cache plugin or DNS network is interfering with the sitemap functionality, so you should check out our knowledge base article that has the solutions for the main caching plugins to fix that. Moving on to the next error, when your sitemap pages are not showing the correct number of links. First, we recommend running the health check plugin that we just covered. Second, flushing the permalinks. Go to WordPress's permalink settings and click on Save Changes without making any changes. If that doesn't work, you can try adding this code. You can use the Code Snippets plugin or add it straight to the Rank Math PHP file with WordPress's theme editor that's located in the Appearance section of the dashboard. If there's no file there, you can upload one via FTP or create one from the cPanel if your website uses that. You can find more details about all these methods with the Knowledge Base article that we've linked in the description. Another reason for this error could be if you change the canonical tags on posts without using Rank Math. 
Rank Math by default sets up a self-referencing canonical tag for each post. When you enter the custom canonicals manually, the post is removed from the sitemap. After all, these tags are telling search engines to index other posts. Next are two errors that can be fixed with the same steps. Rank Math doesn't create a sitemap file, or you're getting a 404 error while trying to access your sitemap index. You may have to flush permalinks. Head over to your WordPress admin area, go to Settings Permalinks, and hit the Save Changes button without making any changes on the page. If that doesn't work, it's possible that the error is caused by an incompatibility with your web server. Rank Math creates a virtual sitemap dynamically, which relies on redirects enabled by your server software. To check if that's the problem, try to access yourdomain.com slash question mark sitemap equals one. If it loads your sitemap, you need to rewrite some redirection rules. If it's an Apache server, go to the HT Access section in Rank Math. Add the code that's on the Knowledge Base article that corresponds to this video. We left it in the description. You'll have to confirm that you know what you're doing, as this could potentially break your website. And make sure that it's an Apache server before doing this, because doing this to an Nginx server will break your website. If it's an Nginx server, copy the code in the Knowledge Base article and paste it on the Nginx config file. If you're not sure how to do that, you can ask your host and they'll add the code for you. The next steps are flushing the sitemap and the permalinks. Go to Rank Math Sitemap Settings, change the amount in links per sitemap, and save the changes. Then, go to WordPress's permalink settings and hit the Save Changes button without making any changes on the page. Next is the XML or text declaration not at the start of the entity error in Google Search Console. This means there are probably some white spaces before the XML sitemap source code. This might be added by a blank line or spaces in your wp-config file or your themes functions PHP file. Keep in mind that finding this blank space can be difficult, so we recommend reaching out to our support team if you can't find it. Our team is happy to provide support to all Rank Math users, regardless of whether they use the free or pro version. Pro users also have access to additional and personal help. If there are no blank spaces in your wp-config PHP or functions PHP files, Check for a plugin conflict using the Health Check plugin that we showed earlier in this video. It's also highly likely that your cache plugin or DNS network is interfering with the sitemap functionality, so you should check out our Knowledge Base article that has solutions for the main caching plugins to fix that. Another error in Google Search Console is your file appears to be an HTML page. Make sure that you submitted the correct XML sitemap to Google, which is your domain slash sitemap underscore index dot XML. If you're sure you submitted the correct URL but you're still facing this error, check for a plugin conflict using the Health Check plugin that we just showed. If you're running W3 Total Cache along with Rank Math on your site, you'll need to create another user agent group and add the Googlebot user agent to it. Back to the errors outside Google Search Console. The missing XML tag error has two most likely causes. The first is because you have no content on your website, in which case you need to add some content and check. The second one is that you've blocked all posts and pages from appearing in your sitemap. You can fix it by going to Rank Math's sitemap settings and checking the robots made attack for each type of post and taxonomy. If the sitemap URL is blocked by robots.txt, it's usually because of rules in the robots.txt file or a plugin conflict. Make sure that you don't have any rules in your actual robots.txt file or the virtual robots.txt file added by Rank Math by going to Rank Math's General Settings, Edit Robots.txt. If the file doesn't present issues, we recommend using the Health Check plugin that we showed in the beginning of the video. If this tutorial helped you, give it a like. If you have any questions, click on the link in the description to open a free support ticket. You can find other tutorials in our knowledge base at rankmath.com kb.